seven. Six, hey guys, this is John five, on Hourly Bulletin on LeeChess.org. We're starting up one, here in zero. a couple seconds. We've got 34 players in the mix. I tweeted out really late that I was playing this tournament. I just saw one was going on and decided to hop in. So we have Profimta in the first game. 24-75, never seen this player before, but they are declining the Scandi and pushing past with E5. Generally not advised, but you do see this once in a while. Okay, so I think this pawn on C5 could be weak. And I'm going to try to corral it. I could play queen a5 check, actually. But I'm just going to develop and uh, try to get this pawn the conventional way like this. Um, hmm. Okay, let's come here. Yeah, he jumps in. So now I'm going to go knight e4 and attack the bishop and the pawn. Looks like we're just going to win it. We do. All right, so good start. We're up a pawn. Let's try to keep it going. We'll go knight e4, probably pop the queen out to b6. Uh, let's go knight here, actually. Attack c2, which he can't defend. Now he's going to lose the rook in the corner. Um, okay, so I want to defend that pawn, but I don't want to... If queen d7, knight e5 was possible, so I didn't want run to run into that. Let's take this pawn down here. Mm, back this up. He's fairly fast, but I think with the edge that we currently have in material, we should win. Uh, let's just double up the rooks. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take that. Drop this back. Maybe bishop e4. Oh, I actually did not see that at all. <laughs> Knight d5 not working. Okay, got to come here. Uh, let's come here. I'm going to have to go after f3. This did not go as I would have liked. Ah, and then I just blundered mate. Okay, that was a terrible game to start. <laughs> Just blundered everything there at the end. All right, so we take a rating hit. Say hello to the people who showed up in the chat. Okay, let's finish this game. I think this is almost a mandatory, mandatory berserk against Chessum. Uh, let's try to open up the center as soon as we can. Maybe h4, h5. This is a good way to attack them uh, when they're choosing such a development scheme. Let's take that. G7, I think we can sneak that in. Then take here and take C4. Don't mind if I do, we'll take that one. Okay, let's bring the knight over and try to get into F5. Yeah, bring the knight up to F5 and Queen H5 coming. Give a check here. Also, we're going to win that. Take here. And this should be winning soon. Uh, okay, let's just take that for simplicity's sake. Come here, threaten queen c7 mate. Uh, check here, pick this up. Yeah, shame about that first game, because I was totally crushing that game. and <laughs> completely blew it for some reason. All right, so we should be checkmating quite soon. All right, so win that one. And we're actually in third place. Not bad. We're going to get another shot at Profinta. I'm quite sure of it. Our shot is the next opponent, 1969. Mm, let's mix it up. Let's play a modern. Transposing into like a closed Sicilian position. I'm going to try to play for d5 and maybe try to smother them with d4 eventually. Hmm. White's spending a lot of time on pawn moves. Their queen looks a little misplaced on that current square. Uh, I want to open the center real bad. I want to get an f6 so I can go after uh, that e5 pawn. You know what? In fact, I'm going to take here. I'm going to let them take on h7 if they want. Because that actually kind of blocks their attack a bit. So I don't know if g takes h7, king h8 is in white's benefit even. Okay, so they're going to do this, huh? All right, well, let's take here first. Take here. Now I'm going to come here and try to eliminate this pawn or maybe get at d4 or f4 attacking both of these. Yeah, let's just take that one to be safe. It feels like white's attack should be slackening now. We'll go after the rook, go after the pawn on g4. He does have rook g5. Okay, but he's not gonna do that. Now up a rook and attacking f4, we should certainly be winning. Okay, let's go bishop h6. If bishop d3, I think I can just play bishop takes f4. White's kind of stuck here with their queen in their king on the same diagonal. 
All right, and we're going to get the victory here. Mm, okay, let's go after the h5 pawn. All right, we get that win. So one loss, two wins, not bad. Uh, we're, let's berserk this game. We need to get some points, get back in the action. So Wurtzy, you got to help us out a little bit. <laughs> let's go knight e5. He can't really take it because he would be in a fork. Oh, he did take it, and he is in a fork. Let's go e4. Oh, he, he mouse slipped and <laughs> didn't recapture there. Well, now I'm just going to try to do this and checkmate him on g7. Not a whole lot black can do about that. Uh, okay, let's take the queen. I guess we'll take a pit stop for the queen, because otherwise he was going to play queen f8. All right, so we get the victory there. And as we've seen time and time again in these tournaments, if you lose in the first round, it's not terrible. Like, don't give up. Because you can easily get back in the tournament after having lost in the first round. So it's the best round to lose. You don't, like, disrupt a streak or anything when you do it. So it's all right. Okay, Fast and the Furious. Let's just play g6 and bishop g7. Uh, okay, we'll go knight f6 now. He offered a draw. It's a rather interesting strategy this early on. <laughs> okay, let's take here. And then I'm going to play to go after uh, d4, perhaps. Hmm. He's playing inventively. I'll give him that. Well, let's go knight c6. I can trade queens with queen a5, so I think I'll probably do that soon. Yeah, like now is a good time to do this. His queen was a little threatening out here. It was attacking h7, so this is a simple way to play. Let's go f5 so he can't go here. b6, bishop b7. Offers another draw. Those are annoying opponents to face, OTB. The ones who offer uh, draws constantly. I once had a guy in a tournament when I was um, a kid. I think I was like in middle school, maybe 6th or 7th grade. And it was at a the state scholastic tournament. And my opponent offered a draw on every single move for the first, like, 15 moves. <laughs> and I was just declining, either saying I decline or making a move. And finally, I had to go and get the, the tournament director because this guy wouldn't stop offering draws. Extremely rude. You should never do that. Uh, generally, the rule is if your opponent declines your first offer, don't bother offering again. Um, I could play h2 or take here. I'll just take here. And then we take here. Because, yeah, if they decline the first offer, they're probably not interested in the draw. So you shouldn't keep pestering your opponent. Okay, we're definitely going to win this game. It's just a question of how we do it. I'm going to try for rook g1. Uh, okay, let's just walk, walk out of these checks. He can even pin my bishop. I'm getting rook g1 in next move, so I don't think it matters. Okay, and we won on time. So 14 points, not bad. Prophet Tinha is still undefeated, but we're going to try to take him down. Zico 2. Let's go for c4 and opening the position on the queen side a bit. Okay, we'll take. Now it depends which way they take back our strategy. Okay, he's going to take there. That's reasonable. Let's go d3. And I think I would eventually like to play for e4. I can try to do it right away. This is bullets. Let's do it. Sometimes they try to keep that pawn back a little bit, but I think this is all right. Okay, let's go f4. Let's see if he wants to swap, because I'm going to try to get e5 in very quickly. And we do achieve e5. This is nice. Okay, so this looks like a free pawn to me. Maybe he has some compensation in the form of my open king, but it looks pretty marginal. Um, okay, let's come here. He's going to attack our queen and get some tempos, though. Like, rook c8 makes a lot of sense now. Uh, b4. Drive away the knight so we can get at that rook on d3. Yeah, now he has to sacrifice. Okay, let's take this way. Um, I think I can play a3 and just guard the pawn. And then bishop here. Attack the queen. And we are happy to trade queens. That's perfectly fine by us. c6 is now falling. Let's come here, attack e7 and also a7. Harvest that material. Let's go f5. I 
don't have to force through e6. I'm just going to play g4 and prop up that pawn a little bit. This knight is pretty effectively corralled. Actually, if ever I go rook b3, that knight is essentially trapped. Okay, let's bring up our king a little bit, though. He has knight c3. But that's about it. Let's put this here. Go here, guard against bishop d6. Ah, I blundered that, but I don't think it matters because I get e7 in. Let's give a check. This should be mate in a couple. And checkmate on e7. All right, so we dispatch Zico 2. We have 18 points. Profitina has 16. A few other undefeated players. So there's going to be a lot of people in the mix. We're over 100 players now. King Tape. What's up, King Tape? This is one of my students. Hello to you. Uh, I'm going to play kind of aggressively with knight c6. I was doing this in one particular bullet tournament a while back, so why not uh, try it again? Putting the, the knight on c6 instead of the pawn. We'll play h6, just make sure knight h4 doesn't hurt us as much. So unusually for a Scandinavian, I have more central space than white does. Typically that doesn't happen. But that seems to be the case here with my pawn on e5 and white's pawn on d3. Okay, let's take this one. And then take here and then go queen e7, attack this pawn. He might play d4 to defend it, but I think rook a d8 is sufficiently annoying. Maybe he can play for c3. This one drops that pawn, and he can't take because he's pinned. Uh, he is going to take, but this does not look good. e3 also hangs with check, so I can look forward to taking that if I want. It takes with the bishop. Okay, I'm just going to take here with the pawn. Yeah, he pre-moved that because he thought I was going to take e3, but I'll just let that weak pawn sit for a moment. Okay, and he resigned. Next player, Decidement. We're still ahead by two points, so I don't feel the need to berserk or anything yet. He's advancing d5, d4 rather quickly, and then allowing me to take here. Okay, and allowing me to take here. <laughs> if you insist, sir. This is a, a full-on pawn plus exchange sacrifice for black. I'm not sure of the wisdom of this strategy, but we'll find out. I'm attacking c7 now. Let's go take that. We don't want to get too greedy, but on the other hand, I don't see a reason not to play this way. So let's just bring some pieces over to the vicinity of the king. Can I play e5? It looks like it. This does weaken this diagonal pretty significantly, but it looks like we're just winning a piece. Yeah, with the fork here and here. Okay, let's take that. Bring the knight to c4. Maybe f4, f5? Looks like a reasonable plan. I'll take that one. Uh, let's just push. Might as well. And now d7 becomes a threat. d7 followed by queen takes f8 and uh, rook e8, for instance. Yeah, now we can take and play rook e8. And checkmate next move. Okay, so get the victory there, 26 points. Be nice to create some distance between myself and Profetinha when we play again. But by the way he's cranking out these wins, I don't know if that will happen. All right, we get Profetinha again. Crucial game. Let's not blunder anything. Blunder away a fantastic position like we did in the first game. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go here. He's also putting a pawn out there and then kind of challenging us to attack it. Well, we can do this because he can't take twice due to rook e1 at the end. Well, okay. <laughs> if you're going to let us do this, I guess we're going to do it. I'm not going to take that queen quite yet. What is he doing? This is just terrible for black. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what this player is doing or why they're playing this way. Let's play bishop f4. Taking on uh, e4 was bad enough. But then following it with knight e5, I don't know what they were thinking about that one. Bishop d6 looks like it wins material. Uh, let's go here first. I wasn't sure about um, <clears throat> something he could have had there. Okay, so now we're attacking the bishop and the rook on f8. Just chase this guy a little bit. 
take here. We're threatening mate. Hmm. I would expect them to resign soon because they are down a queen. But you never know. <laughs> it would actually be in their best interest to resign because um, they get more time to get back in the tournament otherwise. Okay, let's take here. Keep taking stuff. Go after F7. No stalemate tricks or anything. And this is going to be mate momentarily. All right, he resigned. So we win that game. That was crucial because we stop his streak. He's back down to uh, a non-streak. Who else we got in the mix that we have to be concerned about? Fearless Warrior, 2274. Bahadir Ozen. Ah, this is a player from chess.com. Okay, I haven't seen them on Lee Chess before. I think this is a Fide Master, though, from chess.com. So I'm sure they're a decent player. In fact, I think I played them. I'm almost certain I played them before. So let's see what they have in store for us. Okay, let's go knight. Maybe maneuver our knight somewhere now. Uh, actually, let's go for a3, b4. And cover the d4 square for the time being. I don't think I chose an optimal setup against this particular line. I do get my knight into d5. Let's take this way. Let's go here, guard against knight d3. Really want to get b4 in, so let's do this. If queen c6, I have knight e7, which is nice. Okay, let's try to get c5, c6 in, perhaps. Uh, let's go here. Drop this back. Guard against bishop takes e4. Uh, that's an annoying move. we got to come back now. Let's play h4. He's playing really quick, as you can see. Bring the knight into d5. Let's see if he wants to swap at the dark square bishops. Hmm. Hmm, knight takes c5, I blundered. Can't really defend that pawn now, unfortunately. Uh, okay, let's go here, I guess. Yeah, he's playing too quick for me right now. <laughs> I'm pretty much getting killed on the clock. Okay, knight d5. We're going to get the pawn back, but it, ah, he has knight f3. All right, Bahadir. Yeah, you're going to beat us in this game. All right, I'm just going to resign this one. Very quick player. Let's get back in the tournament. And he came from nowhere. He must have late joined a little bit. So, yeah, that's, that's quite a fast player. I have to play quicker at the start. Oh, WZ Do is also sick. Join the club, man. I feel like I've been sick the last week. <laughs> uh, let's play bishop g4 and attack that queen on f3. Mm, let's go knight c6 and attack this pawn. Why not? Knight b4, knight d4. I guess knight d4. I'm inviting queen e5, though. Okay, he didn't play it. That's good for us. Now he plays that. Okay, this is a little tricky. Bit tricky. I'm going to play it safe and just take here. I'm going to go after the d5 pawn. He's going to win f5, but at least we get d5. And we're up a pawn. <clears throat> All right, e5. Fine by me. Can make a bunch of developing moves with tempo. Let's castle. b5 is not hanging due to bishop f2, so... If he castles, I can take on a2. Can still take on a2. Let's take here. He still can't castle. Let's take here. Yeah, he's just in a very bad way. He's all pinned up. All right, so we beat Fearless Warrior. We're still out front by a good margin. So we got a six-point lead. And Profetinha is still trying to get back on a streak. Bahadir Ozen is going to come on strong. Who did he lose to? He lost to Lucky One, 2146. Okay. Yeah, if we play him again, we just got to be fast. Oh, he's going to berserk. <laughs> he's getting cocky. All right, let's do this. And then maybe... Okay, I'm going to play bishop c5. Castle. Okay, let's bring this back. Let's go for rook c8. The key with their berserking is not to give them, like, too many easy decisions. You know, like, you want to challenge them a little bit. You don't want to just make their life simple. So I want complicated positions where I feel like I can... Um, 
make them make difficult choices, let's say. Okay, let's take this way. Uh, let's play h6. Maybe a5. a5, a4 could be useful. Probably opening the position a little bit too much, though, at the moment. Okay, f6. He's going to try to hurt me on the light squares, isn't he? All right, I'm going to offer an exchange to try to simplify the position a bit. All right, let's bring our king up. I'm going to go for a4. And I'm not going to let him know when I'm going to take on a2. <clears throat> I'll try to do it now, but... Okay, let's do this now. This is definitely too close for comfort. <laughs> I don't like the way this is going. Oh, take that. Is he going to go for a draw? Nope. He's going to try to flag me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Except I'm the one who's going to get flagged. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> that guy's just really fast. Oh, another time I lose to a berserk. <laughs> he played 74 moves. All right. Uh, bravo to you, Bahadir Ozen. That was very nice. <laughs> e player is next. Yeah, dude's just really fast. What can I say? Okay. Um, not happy about having lost that game, but we'll see if we can get back on track against e player. Let's play bishop takes and then knight bd7. Castles. Offer a trade on d5. I'm still in the lead. So tournament-wise, it's going fine. Let's try to get the knight into e4 and then kick this knight away or maybe trade it even. Trading that knight would be excellent if we could. I feel like he might want to maneuver this knight to offer a trade for e4 eventually. So let's do this. Wow, he's just going to sack the exchange straight away. Okay, let's take that. I think I can just take this pawn. E player, so aggressive. Okay, let's come here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Attack e5. I think I can take with the queen. That's probably the safest. Rook takes f6 is not working because if queen takes f6. Or even taking on c1, perhaps. Yeah, and now we should be able to defend and win the game. Okay, let's just take here. And get some stuff off the board and go win a2. Advance the a-pawn. All right, so we're going to get the victory against E player, but Bahadir Ozen, 33 points. Looks like if we want any chance now, we got to probably beat him because he's doubling, he's streaking, and he's berserking a lot too. <laughs> so maybe we can get him one more time. I don't know, with two and a half minutes remaining. Yep, we do. No berserk from him this time. He's being a bit more judicious. Okay, let's do this. And then c4. Uh, let's go knight c3. Really like to get a win. Even if I don't win the tournament necessarily, this would still be nice to get against him. Let's go knight e4. Knight takes d6 could be set up. Can I just take it? I think so. Uh, let's go c5. If he takes d6, can we play queen e5 at the end? I think so. And I think he realized it too. Okay, let's open this up a bit. Uh, let's take that. Give a check. Hmm. Let's come here. I don't want to trade quite yet. Let's go here. Well, we've got him in rough shape now. Ooh, that's a blunder. Okay, now we're definitely winning. We may still win the tournament. Okay, and he resigned. Uh, he's still two points ahead, though. That's really annoying. <laughs> but he's not on a doubling streak. All right, Fast and Furious. I gotta, I gotta desert this game and try to win if I want to win this tournament. Can we do it in a minute 20? That would push us over the edge if he can't win himself. He's going for the quick checkmate. Let's try to stop that. 
Go d3. If knight g4, I'll play queen g3. Okay, let's go here. Attack d6 and also c7. Gladly take that one. e5. Let's open this up. Take c6. Check. All right, we're taking all the material now. This is fantastic. Don't blunder into checkmate, John. Let's take that. Let's give a check here. We go and attack that knight, which has no square to go to conveniently. Okay, let's take that. And let's get on the G file. Okay, let's go here first. We can just take it. Okay, block that. Bishop takes f5, looks simple enough. Just bring this up. Oh, there's only seven seconds left in the tournament, though. I don't think we're going to win it in that amount of time. Maybe, though. Ah, oh, did I stalemate him? Oh, okay. <laughs> and we lost the tournament. Didn't matter. Well, even if I would have stalemated, I would have got a couple points, but still, it would have been bad. <laughs> uh, well, not the greatest, because um, even though we beat Baja de Rose and we got him back one game, we still did not win the tournament. Yeah, those two losses we took, especially when he berserked us and won, uh, that was just, that was really bad. <laughs> so, someone to watch out for in the future. He's really fast, I just got to try to find a way to trick him, because you know, he makes mistakes. Like, that last game showed that he's not infallible or something, but... I know that's a, like a young player, and they're like so quick on the mouse, it's hard to keep up with them sometimes. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. How did we, How many losses did we finish with? Three? Yeah, we lost that first game, and then lost to Bahadir Ozen twice. And lost a lot of rating points as a result. But it was fun nonetheless. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll be back again soon with another video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.